Hello everybody, Steve Politi from the Star Ledger, joined once again by esteemed Rutgers beat writer Tom Lucci. Start of a new season, Tom. I mean, here we go. Rutgers football. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been an interesting three weeks. Uh, mine were spent in Piscataway. I know yours were spent in Beijing yes. the past three weeks. But uh, the thing I was curious about, I heard there's a billion Chinese who don't care who wins the Rutgers starting tailback job. Is you that know, true? You know, I've, you know, I've talked to a few of them. There's a little bit of a language gap, but I think they are concerned about replacing well, Ray Rice. I know I am. I mean, that's the, that's been the here. ongoing issue at camp, and uh, as, as well as the offensive line. So... I'm not sure that either one's resolved. We'll find out against Fresno. Now, what, what did this team accomplish in camp during the three weeks while I was watching swimming, and what things were not resolved, in your opinion? Well, the running back situation definitely wasn't resolved. I, I think uh, Mason Robinson and Cordell Young probably separated themselves from the, the other two. Uh, the offensive line, not sure yet. I, I think the pass blocking was pretty good in the two scrimmages. We're not sure about the run blocking. So those would be the only real two areas of concerns. And then the special teams, we're not sure about either kicker. Well, let's go right to Fresno State. And this is not your tip. This is a pretty good opener. I mean, these are two evenly matched teams. I mean, what, what do you know about Fresno State? What can we expect from them? You have to travel across the country, obviously. A tough opener for them as well. Uh, I mean, what do you, what do you come, think of this game? Yeah, they have, to, they have to travel across the country and stop, stop in Wichita. Wichita. Oh, I know. Yes, they need to refuel. Tough it. times for the Fresno State yes. Bulldogs. Um, they're, they're very balanced. I mean, they averaged about 210 yards a game passing, uh, about 200 uh, rushing. So that's the kind of balance that every coach strives for. So they're pretty good. They have a fifth-year senior quarterback in Brandstatter. You know, he's solid. I don't think he's uh, particularly flashy, but he's a lot like Mike Teal. I know they have a great reputation as being giant killers, and they go, you know, any, anybody, anywhere, anytime, they have that motto about playing on the road. But the reality is they haven't even won the WAC since 99. Right, right. So it's, it's, you know, they're going on nine years now where they haven't even won the league title. They have had some big upsets. You know, there's no question over the years. They played USC tough, tough a couple of years ago when USC was number one, but... In terms of you know pure upsets the past three years, I don't think there's been a lot of them. Right, right. Now speaking of not winning conferences in a while, Rutgers hasn't won a Big East since what year are we thinking of here? Uh, I think it was uh, 1869. That's right. <laughs> that was the year they tie, actually tied Princeton. Tied Princeton. Yeah. Uh, is this the year? I mean, I, they're picked fourth. Yeah. Is this I, a year that they could sneak sneak up on people and finally win the conference? There's a chance. It all you know. Here's the problem, Steve. I mean, after they get past the first two games, which are two tough games, Fresno, North Carolina. The realities of the Big East schedule for them this year, after they had the benefit of eight home games last year, they're going on the road to play the tougher games. In October, they have to go on the road, you know, and, and November, they have to go on the road to play South Florida, West Virginia, and Pitt. And if those are the three teams ahead of them in, this, you know, in the predictions, which they are, they're basically playing the three best teams in the league on the road. That's a tough thing to do. Right, right, well, let's start with Fresno State. What's your pick for this one? Uh, I, I think Rutgers is going to play a good game. I, I you know, I, I just... Defensively, I think they're going to surprise people. I think they're going to be pretty good. I think they're, they're eventually going to be able to run the ball. But uh, I just see Teal throwing for 300 yards and Kenny and Ty getting their 150. And I think uh, Rutgers is going to put some points up, uh, something like 38-24. I think it's going to be a lower scoring game. I'm going to go with 24-20 Rutgers victory as well. And let's pick the season while we're here. Well, I mean, the clean slate, fresh start. What, what record will Rutgers you know, finish with at the I, conclusion of this year? That's a tough. I really haven't had a, you know, I've been off my game ever since, uh, that, that rhythmic dancing, the judging in the rhythmic dancing, it's <laughs> yeah, just, really, I was really outraged wasn't. by that. So right. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still not on my game. I, I think an, an eight to nine win season is reasonable. I don't, I, don't, I don't think that's unreasonable. Again, it depends on how they get out of these first two games and, and then what happens in October. If you, can, if you can ask me after the first two games, I can give you a better idea. But right. I think North Carolina and Fresno are pre two pretty good teams to start with. Mm -hmm. Well, I think, I think they're going to win the Big East this year. I'm going out on the limb. I'm picking Rutgers to win the Big East. I, I, I look at this. They've got an experienced quarterback. They've got two, two of the best receivers in school history. They're going to find a running back. Defensively, I mean, this is I mean, Gregory Shannon has now recruited three straight years of top-notch talent. You've got to figure that he'll be able to fill the holes of the, the players that they've lost over the last couple of years. And I just, you know, I look around the league, and I don't see. I know Pat White in West Virginia is going to be the favorite. But uh, as we talked about earlier, chance for injuries there. Yeah, he's got to stay I, healthy. I, you know, if, if, right. if Pat White gets hurt, they become, you know, Cincinnati. West mm -hmm. Virginia becomes Cincinnati. I, you know, again, I, I think West Virginia, South Florida, you have to say the favorite's going in. Rutgers is in that mix with Pitt. Right. We'll find out starting a Monday afternoon ESPN game against Fresno State. Once again, Steve Politi with Tom Lucci. We'll see you again next week for this. Thanks.